Today we're just going to be quickly covering a common issue we've been running into lately where people aren't able to see their 5 gigahertz band of their router. So most common reason for this is that you don't have two compatible devices. You need a router that's capable of doing dual band and an adapter that's capable of doing dual band. Uh, if you just purchase the adapter, it should say right on the box, uh, slash A or slash AC. Some slash N will do five, but most do not. Very rare you're going to run into an end, that an N that will do it. N is capable of doing it if it's set up for that, but most the adapters are not. If it's N, it will only see the 2.4 majority of the time. So a lot of people purchase their new laptop and they think, well, it's a new laptop, it's going to see it. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to see it. So I'm going to show you today how to check. So we're going to do it through the command prompt. You can also go through the device manager and see if it says it on your adapter. It doesn't always, which is why I like doing the command prompt. So in Windows 8 and above, you can open your command prompt a couple ways. The easiest is just going through the start screen and typing in CMD. Enter or select command prompt. So now you'll get this black window. Uh, Windows version is earlier than 8. You can also open this through, in the bottom left corner, your start button and typing CMD in the run box. So in your command prompt, we're going to type in a command to, to show us the info about the card. We're going to type in N-E-T-S-H space W-L-A-N for your wireless LAN card space show space drivers. Enter. So you notice my command prompt, it's small, all the information doesn't fit in it. So what I need to do, because I want to see uh, radio type supported, I need to scroll up. So anytime you're in the command prompt and can't see everything, use the scroll bar. So you'll notice on this computer, the adapter installed in it is capable of doing N, A, G, and B. So it will see the 2.4 network, uh, that is, can be G, it'll go backwards compatible, see G and B, and N, but it'll also do the 5 because it's showing something with an A in it. So generally I look on this line and I'm looking for an A. It could be A, C, A, A though. And yes, some will, most will not. So if you're even in here, it's because you're not able to see the 5 gigahertz and you don't see A. Uh, chances are your device is not compatible. Even though it's a brand new laptop, doesn't mean it's going to be compatible. Just like with Ethernet, they're not all gigabit. Some of the older ones, it'll still have an older uh, adapter in it. So to save yourself a lot of troubleshooting, before you start getting into anything else, first make sure that both your router and your adapter are capable of seeing a 5 gigahertz frequency. Hope this helps.